You're watching Open House NYC. Now for generations, the Hamptons has been one of the ultimate vacation destinations. It's a celebrity summer playground, a place where international jet setters can rub elbows with New York socialites, and it also happens to be a perfect vacation destination for families. From the beaches to the vineyards and the uber luxury homes, the Hamptons, it has it all. Now right now, I'm coming to you from the Baker House 1650. Nestled in East Hampton, this English manor style bed and breakfast is all about casual luxury. Every square inch of this historic B&B is impeccably designed and beautifully decorated. It features gorgeous English gardens, an infinity edge pool, and one of the best amenities, the Baker Spa, which I will be checking out a little bit later. Now let's get things started by the sea because it is the Hamptons after all. Our first home is in Watermill and let me tell you it has one of the most spectacular views you will ever see. This modern beach house is perched high upon the dunes over the exact point where Meacox Bay meets the Atlantic. A fantasia of nature that hits you the moment you enter and continues through every space. The open floor plan of its entertaining spaces gives it the air of a downtown loft and yet the access to the expansive terraces and those views never let you forget where you are. It's chic and modern, stylish yet serene. In a word, it's kind of perfect. Hi, I'm Tim Davis. I'm here with my son, Jonathan. And we're here from the Corcoran Group. Welcome to 1320 Flying Point Road. This home is located where the Atlantic Ocean meets Meacox Bay, a very special and scenic location. And when you think of the Hamptons, you think of a place to get away from your everyday busy schedule, a place where you can enjoy your family and friends, and this is the ultimate Hamptons retreat. There's so much to see inside, so let's get started. This home is all about the open floor plan and water views. And this is exactly what greets you when you walk in the front door. In fact, if you look around, you have the sweeping view of Meacox Bay and the Atlantic Ocean beyond. It reminds you that despite its loft-like interiors, you are living in the heart of the Hamptons. The interiors of this home were designed by world-renowned designer Jacques Grange. And some of his best work is seen right here in this living room. In features such as the 11-foot ceilings, you have a gas fireplace, and a wall of glass to help you really capture these spectacular water views. You will love preparing a meal in this chef-inspired kitchen located just off of the living room. The room is open, spacious, and flooded with natural light. It features boffy cabinets and top-of-the-line appliances. And it opens up into this elegant dining area. This is the ultimate Hamptons dining experience. Imagine gathering around with family or friends, enjoying a gourmet meal inside or outside. After dinner, what a perfect place to end the day in the media room, which opens out onto the covered terrace and outdoor fireplace. It's a great place to watch a movie, to read a book, or have a glass of wine. Now this leads us to the best part of the entire house, the outdoor terrace. It really captures what the Hamptons are all about. Soaking up some rays on the lounge chair, or jumping in the infinity pool for a nice swim, or even having a cocktail party for family and friends. This is the place to be in the Hamptons. As we overlook the white sand beaches and miles of pristine coastline, this is the perfect place to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us today and the tour of this magnificent home, which captures the essence of seaside living. Now that's how you do seaside living. I could definitely wake up to those views every morning. All right, well, coming out to see a Brooklyn-based design duo's take on the Hamptons. And later, I'm meeting up with author and philanthropist Annie Falk. She's getting ready to host a lunch and share some inspiring tips for your next party. We'll be right back. This episode of Open House is brought to you in part by the Baker House 1650. Nestled in the beautiful historic village of East Hampton, this exclusive bed and breakfast is the perfect destination for your next vacation, romantic getaway, or special event. Relax amidst the impeccable English gardens or enjoy a treatment at the Baker Spa. Make the Baker House 1650 your home away from home. To book your visit, head to bakerhouse1650.com. Welcome back. Now we're in East Hampton with designers Anishka and Naya of Ishka Designs. They are dedicated to the ethos that less is more. 
creating efficiently stylish and sophisticated interiors that managed to be both dapper and dignified. Now, in their client's retreat, the challenge was that the design complement the ever-changing landscape and yet maintain its own visual interest. The result? A home with a strong eclectic flair that runs through its spare modern aesthetic. Hi, I'm Naya Bascom. And I'm Anishka Clark. We're the owners of Ishka Designs, a Brooklyn-based design firm. Today we're going to show you around the latest example of our design aesthetic, our client's beautiful home in the Hamptons. So, let's get started. Our interior design solution evolved from the minimalist architectural details found in this newly built five bedroom home. One of the major features of the home is the 16 foot ceiling which are punctuated by floor to ceiling windows and doors that bring the outside in all year round. Upon entering this home, you're greeted with this beautiful, stunning 360 degree fireplace. And it provides a warm welcome that draws you into the living room area. Let's go check it out. For the living room, we went for elegant yet inviting as it is the most formal space in the home. To now compete with the ever-changing landscape, we chose a very neutral palette to accentuate the white oak floors found throughout the home. We custom designed a white oak coffee table that's flanked by a Parisian vintage lounge chair and two wire-framed ottomans that counterbalance the streamlined look of the space. And very importantly, we chose low-profile furnishings so as not to distract from these beautiful views of nature in every direction. In an open floor plan like this, it's important for the spaces to complement rather than compete with each other. To have their own identity and yet freely flow into each other. Here in the dining area, we chose a beautiful white oak table with a sharp angular base, but we softened the vignette with these comfy, curvaceous chairs. But without a doubt, the centerpiece is the light pendant. It just draws your eyes into the dining space and yet allows you to see into the family room and the patio. We punched up the color palette in the family room with vibrant art to elevate the energy in the space. The family room is supposed to be very casual and comfortable, but that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice style and elegance. Here we chose an uber deep sofa and distinct open wee wavy chairs. As with the formal living room, we chose low profile, light airy furnishings that don't detract from the landscape outside. The Junior Master is definitely one of our favorite rooms in the house. Despite its mid-century design, it feels fresh and youthful. It has an unexpected nook in which we placed a funky daybed. A really dense shag rug creates comfort and coziness. The Master echoes the same mid-century vibe as the Junior Master. However, we selected furnishings that are more elegant and sophisticated. We see tall brass table lamps that flank the winged bed. They pick up the metallic accents in the gold floor-length mirror and the mid-century nightstands and dresser. And of course, we kept with classic modernity using a shell chair, which we paired with a woven textile from Haiti. We've enjoyed sharing this home with you in the Hamptons. Now we hope you've seen how minimalist design can create efficiently beautiful interiors that are as comfortable as they are stylish. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> By the way, we are sending out a big congrats to Ishka Design. For three years in a row, they've been named as one of the top 20 African-American interior design firms. Up next, the perfect marriage of architecture and interior design right on Mecox Bay. And later, a country yet modern retreat in Sagaponic. Welcome back. Now we've headed inside the Baker House 1650 to cozy up by the fire, but we're taking you back to Watermill to tour an enchanting estate overlooking bucolic farm fields with the bay and the ocean immediately beyond. This luxurious and graceful home has everything. Vast, airy, entertaining spaces, quiet, stylish nooks, sun-drenched terraces, shaded patios, and enough bedroom suites to accommodate the largest of families. 
There's even a roof deck with truly sublime views. This 12,000 square foot home manages to be both opulent and tranquil at the same time. Good morning. I'm Gary DePersia with the Corkin Group. Welcome to Meacox Farm. You're about to take a journey through a 12,000 square foot estate on three acres overlooking Meacox Bay. It epitomizes what the Hamptons lifestyle is all about. We have a lot of ground to cover. Let's go in and take a look. And it begins here in the double height entryway with lacquered walls, inlaid stone floors, Sonian ceiling, and an oculus bringing in light. It's a wonderful combination of architecture and design. The double height great room, sun drenched by day, will at night be the focal point of all your entertaining. There are large paneled walls which would be perfect to display all your art. And above that are plastered, hand painted walls. You'll feel like you're in an ancient ruin. And finally, the fireplace, the centerpiece of the room, is a custom design with Bolexian legs and a classical pulvinated frieze made from scagliola. The beams are white oak planks joined, hand finished by artisans to resemble timbers. The great room is flanked on one side by a library with vellum covered walls, cheap paper ceiling, and another custom designed fireplace. But through these upholstered doors, we're gonna find the heart and soul of this house. Follow me. And no matter how many well-designed and furnished rooms we have in a house, you know everyone's going to be hanging out right here in this great kitchen. Anchored by two La Cornu stoves and joined by a host of other professional appliances, this is a chef's kitchen and everyone's going to want to be here. Now, welcome to the 2,000 square foot master wing. To the right in this grand scaled master is the sitting room. While the lacquered walls are notable, the detail work of the moldings above is quite sensational. Windows open up to the grounds, you look north to the countryside. Any grand scale master suite has to have his and her bathrooms, and Meacox Farm is no exception. His side is connected to her side by a large common showering room, generously sized. Each of them has fine marble details and banks of windows looking outside straight to Meacox Bay. And finally, you'll begin and end your days in this large but intimate sleeping chamber. This expansive rooftop deck has its own kitchen and 360 degree views everywhere, including over Meacox Bay to the breaking waves of the ocean beyond. So now you've seen it, Meacox Farm, 12,000 square feet, three acres, water views, fully furnished. Can there be any question that this is the ultimate Hamptons estate? Manicured lawns leading to multi-million dollar mansions. Now that's part of what living large in the Hamptons is all about, right? Don't go anywhere. Coming up, the softer side of the East End. We're heading inside the cozy country home of designer Gideon Mendelssohn. And tips on how to throw the perfect lunch in style. You're watching Open House NYC as we take you on a tour of some of the best the Hamptons has to offer. Our next stop is in Sagaponic at the home of designer Gideon Mendelssohn. Now Gideon is all about layers and as you peel away the layers, you'll discover a mix of textures, colors, time periods and just the right dose of drama. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Gideon Mendelssohn. I'm an interior designer based in Manhattan. Welcome to my home in the Hamptons. Come on in, let me show you inside. We enter the house in the foyer here, which is an interesting space. It had some architectural challenges. You can see there, there really isn't any place to, to end wallpaper or paint. There's no crown molding. The ceiling has some interesting angles to it. So what we did instead was wallpaper the entire space, and that made the room feel really warm. So we're in the living room. This is a place that friends and family come really to hang out and spend time together. Flanking the fireplace are these two sofas that I designed. 
sort of in a 50s feel, but the nubby linen really gives it a casual Hamptons vibe. Another thing to mention in the living room is the paint color. It's sort of a very pale blue, which really doesn't connect to anything in the room. There's no blue fabric or a blue accessory in the room that it's talking to. It's really connecting us to the outside. Everybody says the kitchen is the heart of the home, and I have to agree, it's the most important room in the house. To keep things visually interesting, what we did is we painted the cabinets of the island a gray color, and we took some tools and we actually like scraped the island, we banged it up, and we gave it a little bit of an industrial vibe. Instead of a traditional white ceramic tile, we chose a glazed brick for the backsplash and the walls of the kitchen. Instead of a white grout, we did a dark grout, which I think gives it some graphic punch. This is where I start and end my day, the master bedroom. This is another really large room in the house, so the first thing I wanted to do was ground it with a large four-poster bed. The chaise in the corner is a piece that I designed, and I upholstered it in a stripe horizontally. And that became actually a theme in the room. You can see it on the chaise, on the drapes. You can also see it in the office, which is off of the master bedroom. If you're looking for a really relaxing and calm master bedroom, don't forget to layer lots of texture, but subtle pattern. It'll keep things really interesting, but also really calm. Don't be afraid to curate a really interesting collection of pieces for your home, and surround yourself with things that you really love. Thanks for visiting me at my home in Sagaponic. We're not done yet. Up next, it's lunch. Hampton style. We're getting tips on the art of entertaining. You stay right there. I'm heading to the beach. Right now, we're in the Hamptons, where stylish New Yorkers and the Hollywood glitterati come to shop, hang out, and eat during the summer. So if you're hosting, you really have to pull out all the stops. I'm meeting up with Annie Falk, author of Hamptons Entertaining, Creating Occasions to Remember. Now, she's going to share a wealth of inspiring ideas of table settings and menus and so much more. Well, Annie, I think we all know that the Hamptons is all about entertaining, and you couldn't ask for a better setting to dine al fresco. But I think in order to survive the Hamptons, you have to know how to throw a lunch. And it really comes down to three things. It's fantastic food, and it's a fun welcome drink, and of course, a beautiful table setting. And to tie it all together, you have to pick a theme. Yes, and in this case, I was very inspired by all of the produce that's available locally from the farmer's market, from my own backyard. So today we're doing a ladies' locavore lunch. <laughs> we should get started. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, as soon as the weather starts warming up, my absolute favorite thing is lobster salad. So I'm so glad we're doing this today. <laughs> I am too. And I love this salad because everything's local. The corn and the fresh lobster. So if you want to grab some spoons yeah. and help me, we can get this all ready. Oh my god, that's so good. Now that we've got the food taken care of, I think we should get started on the cocktail because it's so important to have a cocktail ready as soon as your guests arrive. I agree. And I have the perfect one in mind. So let's go make it. Great. So we are going to start with the lemonade. Next we have the pomegranate liqueur. Okay. And my favorite is the rosemary infused simple syrup. Fantastic and works equally well over fruit salad and a little vodka. <laughs> and if you want to add some ice to that, oh great. We're all set. Put the top back on. Just give it a good shake. Mm, that is delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's I'm glad good. you like it. And last but not least, we have to talk about the table setting. My favorite part of any party. Me too. And I love this table setting. It's very aquatic and themed. Oh, thank you. I started with a little trip to the fabric shop and I bought this remnant, created a table runner out of it. The blue and white was just wonderful to go with the hydrangeas, the unofficial flower of the Hamptons. Right. And I included them not only in the floral arrangements, but also on the little napkin holders and I carried the theme through by including these little picture holders that are in the shapes of fish. It's the little touches that really bring a table together. When a guest sits down everybody should have something interesting to look at. Yeah and they surely do at this table. 
Well, Annie, thank you so much for a great day. You picked your theme. You have amazing food, a signature cocktail, and a beautiful table setting. So all we have to do is eat. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.